All right, guys, I got another knife review for you guys, and today it's going to be on this um, awesome knife that I got from um, Taddy Boy 2 in this giveaway. And we have the Cerber, uh, Cerber something knife. It's like a rescue um, type knife. It's really interesting. I could not find a Cerber website or anything close to it. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't find this knife anywhere uh, with the name Cerber on it. I think they're trying to use, kind of like, maybe copy the name Gerber, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but, um, anyways, let me just go ahead and uh, give you kind of like all the aspects of it. We got a, a ratchet uh, lock system. So when you have it down here, when you have it in the middle, it's locked. And when you push it all the way up, you can open the blade. And it makes like a ratchet, ratcheting noise. Once you get it open, it locks itself, even though it's up here. And then if you want to close it, it won't close. Um, you you have to push the lock all the way down to the third, right there. So if you're all the way up there, one, two, and then you can fold it. And the cool part about this system, this locking system, is that once you have it in opening you can open it halfway and lock it halfway so you can hold it like that and uh, that's pretty freaking awesome that you can hold it this way so that's a really cool locking system I gotta say the only downside um, to the system is that it's probably not very strong um, I have some blade play up and down and a little tiny bit up side to side that's no problem. It says um, model one five five zero patents pending. Um, Cerber, never heard of it. Um, you got this uh, pivot that I can't open up. And you got a press fitted thumb stud, one only right hand open. Um, you got G10 um, inserts with metal bolsters. Um, top and bottom, and the eighth and eighth inch textured um, G10 um, insert, which is um, interesting. All right, now you got another feature. You got a seat belt cutter back here, which is pretty cool, and then you got a glass breaker at the bottom, which could be really deadly. Um, it could be a deadly weapon too. Um, you got a really gigantic pocket clip with uh, decent strength, um, but I think if they hadn't do th done these cutouts, it might have been stronger. Uh, actually, maybe not, but maybe a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it would have been strong with, without those cutouts, uh, but it's kind of huge. I don't like how it's all the way out here. Not necessary. Um, it only appears to be... Uh, left side um, tip down carry. Um, it's all blacked out. Blacked out. Uh, it's got some sort of coating on the blade. I don't think it's anything special because um, I start. I used it to cut a few things and it's already worn out a bit at the bottom. I didn't want to wear it out anymore because I kind of want to keep it nice. Um, if you swing it hard enough, you can flick it open. Oops, my finger caught caught a grit here. Uh, messed up. Huh, I can't do it. Let's see. I can't really do it, but I can do it. I can close it. Alright. So, um, I couldn't find anything wrong. Uh, any, I mean, anything wrong with it either. Not really bad. Um, uh, I found this on on Bud K. It's untitled cutlery, and I found the same freaking blade. Um, or very similar. I believe it's the same knife. Actually, this one doesn't seem to have the ratcheting system. And the bolsters are shaped differently. But... Take a good look. Same blade, pretty much. Yeah, it doesn't 
seem to have a ratcheting system. The pocket clip is different. Um, basically, you still have the same exact blade shape. Uh, you got the similar dump studs. Uh, you got a different finish on this one. This is untitled cutlery. No, it's Edge. It says Edge right there. Same freaking blade though. Same exact blade. Look, look at the blade. Same exact one. Um, got the same exact pivot point. Um, you got G10 inserts on both of them. Except for this one, it's kind of swervy on the side. And this one's completely angled flat. Um, it's got seat belt cutter. I do not see glass breaker, but still has the same lanyard hole back. Um, Ten dollar knife on Bud K. This untitled Edge Camel Rescue Folder is one Magnum machine. It, it's massive, eight and a half inches overall. Offers stainless handles with rugged G10 inlays, a three and a quarter on camel coated. Stainless steel blade is honed to a razor edge and offers piercing tanto point. It also offers a, a belt cutter and a glass breaker spike for emergency situations. A stainless steel pocket clip allows conventional carry options for pockets or pack. Untitled cutlery UC8007. Alright, so that's what I could find. I couldn't find anything. Teddy Boy, if you could tell me how to where to find the website or something that would help um anyways back to the review um it's a pretty freaking awesome knife i haven't been able to force myself to carry it since it's um really heavy and it's tip up i mean tip down carry and i can't do tip down carry that very well but it's just super heavy uh for me to carry it's a really, like, you see that? Look how it shakes the camera. And that's dropping it, like, let's pick it off. Super heavy. And in the summer, I tend to carry, I, used to, I tend to use, like, shorts and, like, and, uh, I use a clip it to the waistband, but I can't with this knife. It's too heavy. It pulls my shorts off. You can see it's freaking massive. This is a big, big, uh, it's a big fixed blade, and this thing's pretty big. Um, it's actually heavier than the fixed blade, dude. It's actually, yeah, significantly heavier than a full, um, G um, I mean, micarta, 8th inch overall. It's heavier. It's heavier than this beefy knife. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's a pretty cool knife. It's a really cool novelty knife. I'm going to keep it in my collection, never get rid of it. Um, I, I still really like it. Um, it's really interesting. And Teddy Boy, thank you so much. Uh, again guys, if you guys want a similar knife, this is the only place I could find it. Um, so go to Bud K, it's only $10, and it has 5 star 11 reviews, uh, rating. So, yeah, um, I haven't used it for, I, I cut some cardboard with it, actually. So it shouldn't be that, it doesn't hold an edge. That's the only problem. Actually. Alright. Yeah, that was because I dried. If I try and cut, it's kind of dull. Yeah, not bad. Um, it's still, it's like a 440 steel. Um, it's it, it's uh, heat treated, at least, but um, not bad. It's a cool knife. Um. Good for like, um, you know, like maybe an, um, doctor, not a doctor, what, what do you call those people on the ambulances? I can't think of the name, but, um, yeah, maybe it'd be a cool knife for someone like that, that needs a seatbelt cutter and a glass breaker, 
Uh, maybe a cop, maybe, could you use this knife? It looks like a really, really tactical knife. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys later.